Hi there, I am Victor and welcome to 5-Minute Lessons. This is another episode of our program called Presented by Student for Students, which aims to allow students to share their knowledge and skills, motivate them to continue learning and developing new skills, and inspire other students too. We are lucky to have Norman as our guest today. He was one of my students last school year. I remember him for having excellent writing and speaking skills. You will know why when you start to hear him talking about Google Drive. He is going to share easy-to-follow steps to access and organize files in Google Drive. He is going to tell us how to upload non-Google files to Drive. Not only that, he is going to demonstrate how to share files with specific people. Good day, viewers. First, search Google Drive. Upon searching from the web, it will show you this type of preface that will be very important on your undertaking upon the exploration of Google Drive. Our ultimate goal for today is to quickly access any necessary documents that we wish to see. So we have here the quick access, the folders, and the files. This can show us any relevant documents that we have made from the previous hours in span of time. But if we want to be particular upon accessing or searching for files or documents, we can easily search in Drive here. Let's say the title of my document is Research. Search results will give us this type of documents that has connection to the said title. Let us now proceed in the creation of file. Simply click the new button and choose whatever type of file format you want to use. It could be docs, sheets, slides, and many more, each according to their respective uses and purposes. For this case, I will use Google Docs. Google Docs will show you necessary formatting toolbars that will be helpful when creating your document of your desire. Let's say we're already done and over with this articular document. We can name it on the upper left corner. And put it in a respective folder. Let's move it in Research 1. Click Move. By doing so, we are organizing our file to our respective folder. Now, what about conversion? I wish to convert this document in a PDF file. By doing so, click on the file, download, and choose whatever type of file format you wish to use. It could be a link, a EPUB publication, a plain text, a PDF, a rich text format, an open document, or simply Word. But I will choose PDF document. Note that you have been just downloaded the Assignment 6 on your computer. So in order to upload it on Google Drive, we must go back to Google Home. Again, click on New and File Upload. Go to Downloads and Assignment 6. Okay, so Assignment 6 has been uploaded to Google Drive. Now, let's proceed to sharing it to people. Okay, let's open this one. We can share it by clicking on the three dots. and searching to add people in groups of particular name. We have here the suggested people. Let's say this one, send. Now I just sent it 
and shared it with a particular person that I wish my document to be shared with. Thank you very much, Norman. That was a crystal clear instruction. Because of your demo, I'm sure many students will start thinking about saving and sharing files in Google Drive. Before we end this tutorial, I would also like to share two tips on using Google Drive. We know that Google tools are online tools. However, it is also possible that you work offline. Then, when there is internet connection, all your work will be synced online. To do that, go to the upper right corner and select Settings Gear Symbol. Then select Settings. Click the offline checkbox to allow creating and editing your files in your device. Then click the Done button. And that's it! Here's tip number two. Let's say you have files to be shared to the same people. What you can do is create a folder that specify the sharing settings once. So let's say here I would like to add a folder. Simply go to this button and select Folder. Write the name of the folder and click Create button. To specify its sharing settings, right-click and select Share. Under the Share with People and Groups area, you can specify who will be able to view, comment, or edit the file. So let's say you would like all people to access the files, you can go to Get Link Area. Just simply click the Change to Anyone with a Link. And from the option, select Anyone with a Link. Then once done, you click the Done button. Let's go to the Created folder. You can simply put all the files to this folder or you can start creating files within this folder. Note that all files in this folder will inherit the settings. I hope those tips will help you on using Google Drive. Before we end this video, I would like to thank Norman again for joining me in today's episode. Questions or any feedback, kindly write on the comment section below. Please like and share this video so others will know how easy to save and share files in Google Drive. Again, this is Victor from 5-Minute Lessons. Thank you all for watching.